can show you a lot, but this is the 35 yard range here. I've got to drive round, hold on. I've got to drive round behind that container there to the 50 the yard. You can see what I've got to go through for the love of shooting. It's crazy. <laughs> channel if you're new welcome to the channel my name's Oot Abuse make sure you like share subscribe follow me on Instagram Oot underscore Abuse sorry if I'm moving about and that but it is freezing in here if you know about this 50 yard range there ain't no insulation there. I can see the gaps in the roof and the wind is coming in and it's raining but before we get into anything I've got to say a big thank you to Jim and Daniel at Crawley Surplus Store for letting me borrow the rifle. And it weren't just the rifle I got, it, I got a PCP pistol as well. So you look, look out for that video. So yeah, big up Crawley Surplus Store. Dan, Jim, thank you again. So gang, I went Crawley Surplus Store and they gave me the new Snow Peak M60. But yeah, nice. They call it the budget impact, but I wouldn't compare that to the impact to tell the truth. So yeah, let me go into the box now and show you look how it comes quickly. So boom, this is how it comes in the box. You got a magazine. It doesn't come with a single shot loader. I'm kind of upset about that. You lot are gonna see when it gets to the shooting part. But yeah, it comes with a 24 shot magazine. It comes with a complimentary pack of, no, complimentary tin of pellets. Also, you got the the norm you get your probe you get all your o-rings and everything so you can service it yourself if anything and this thing here this is a tool to take out the gauges and everything but i'll give you a close-up so boom let's get into the rifle now man quickly all right so boom gang Put some legs on it just so it's stable it is too cold so let me get into it starting from the back of the rifle you got your butt stop that's adjustable it can go up and down you got your cheek piece plastic it's kind of comfortable i can't lie it's nice and chunky so your face fits nice let me come this side all right then let's go to the grip you got an ar-15 style grip that's changeable as well just like the impacts also you got the cocking lever or the cocking handle whichever one you want to call it I like it it's kind of long though i say it's about a good two inches long but yeah, decent. You got the AR-15 style safety. It's decent. I like that safety as well, to tell the truth. Um, what should we go to next? Air tank. You got a 270cc air tank with the little fill port on the front here. You got a bipod rail, which you can move forward or backward. It's basically connected to the air tank, but you can loosen the, the Allen screws and you can move it forward and backward. One thing I didn't like about this, it don't stay straight, so it moves about. So if you do loosen it to move it forward or backward, you're gonna need a 
spirit level or bubble level on the back to make sure the rifle's level again. You got the barrel, which is a 610 millimeter length barrel. I, I don't know if you lot can see properly, but I'll take a picture and, po and put it up. But just behind the bipod rail, there's a regulator adjuster. I wish I knew how to work these so I could have put down the reg pressure a little because I think 190 is a lot. But yeah, got the reg adjust, you got the regulator adjuster just underneath the barrel, in between the barrel and the air tank. The barrel shrouded. This is the mad part now. This bit's crazy. This is the silencer. But the silencer comes it's more than right, the silencer I don't know how to explain it but you can break it down if you don't like the length of this one take off the top one You can screw them, screw them out, and then you can make it to the length that you desire, or however you want it, the length that you want. You get me? Let me just take it all off and show you quickly. So yeah, and put the front one back on. I was watching Demolition Ranch, and Matt had a silence where you can add these parts to it like more parts he made a long ass one but yeah so you can make the barrel as short as you want really but let me put it back to normal size you know the longer the silencer the quieter it is get me All right, one thing I'm gonna say as well, with the silencer, it isn't half inch UNF threaded. This one is kind of chunky, hold on. This one is chunky, it's not half inch, I don't know where it is, it looks like an 11 millimeter or so, but I'm not used to this, so I'm not gonna go into it. Get me and put this back on. Ah, also the barrel. I don't know if you lot can see, but the barrel's free floating. I don't like that. You lot see the movement in the barrel. Don't really like that at all, but let's go to the front. You got the pressure gauge there on the front. Let's come round to the side, to the back now. All right, and you got your regulator gauge here. Obviously, like I said, you got your regular adjuster here, so you can up or down the power, basically. You got Snow Peak, SMK, the labels. They're normally on this side of the rifle. So for it to be on this side, that's kind of different to tell the truth, but I do like it. One thing as well I'm going to say, this trigger guard, I'm not sure, but I think you can put a Sabre Tactical bipod pick rail onto here. I'm not sure, don't hold me to that, but it looks like it can go, so you've got a, a proper bipod rail. To go under here it would look nice as well I can't lie um am I missing anything you got a picatinny row at the top with the slot sensor yeah you won't so if you take off your if you take off your scope and you put it back on you always know where it's gonna go um is there anything else I need to know
think that's it, gang. All right, let me say something. I've done the shooting already. I didn't like it. I'm not sure what it was. I don't know if it was because the regulator is so high. I don't know if it's because the, mag the magazine, it's a rotary magazine. So it's, with my P15, it squashed the squirt of the pellet, so the shots weren't accurate. So I don't know if it's doing the same thing with this, but it ain't got a single shot loader, so you're gonna see the vi you're gonna see when it comes to the shooting part. Oh, so boom, gang, thirty yards quickly. I'm gonna be using the QISs because they group the best, but none of the groupings weren't good. I don't know if it's cause the reg pressure's on 190 and you can only fill the rifle to 200 or if I didn't put enough pellets through the barrel or I don't know, but let me just show you like, how it how it shoots. So I'm saying that wasn't me at all. I don't know why, but they just fly off. that five let me give it one more see where it goes this rifle needs a little tune do you know what i'm gonna bring it to 40 yards if it don't do good at 40 i'm not bringing it to 50. So yeah, let's see how it does at 40 yards. All right, so gang, we're out to 40 now, yeah? If it don't group good, I'm not doing the 50 yard. Yeah, I really don't know what it is. One thing I gotta say, yeah, this magazine, I don't like them car, they squash the pellet skirts, that's what makes it inaccurate. And there ain't no single shot loader. So yeah, 40 yards. If it don't do good, we're not doing 50. That wasn't me either. I've got it right on the dot.
do one more just to see where it goes. I give up. And I do like the rifle, but gang, I'm done. I'm gonna bring it back to Crawley Surplus store and let Jim take a look at it. Cause he knows his air gun, you get me? So boom, gang, I'm done. And remember, I've got a PCP pistol, sir. You might get two videos before Christmas or on Christmas Day. So, gang, hope you all have a good Christmas anyway. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, do to underscore beefs. Now. So, boom, gang. Sorry, I ended that one kind of. I was pissed off. And I was freezing cold as well. The groups were supposed to make me feel better. You get me, but it didn't. So, boom, let me give you a rundown quickly. I gave back the rifle to the shop on the next day to tell the truth. So, boom, when I bring it back, the regulator was on 190. I was only filling it to 200. So, you got like 10 bar of decent shots. That's probably like three shots, four shots, if that. So, yeah, that's one of the reasons why it was messing up. Two, because of the magazine, I reckon. So, boom, I've got the P15 magazine here, yeah? Let me give you a close-up quickly. All right, sorry about the shadows and I had to throw you on my microwave quickly, but watch this. This is my P15 magazine. Let me show you how aggressive it is quickly. Let me turn this round here. I'm going to let go. Watch this. You didn't even see that that's how fast it is. That's how aggressive it is. But basically, what you're supposed to do is spin this all the way around. Lock it there. Turn it around. Put in the first pellet skirt first. And that holds that there. And then you just load them up head first now from here. Move it around. I'm gonna put three in quickly. All right, I just pushed out that first one. I want you to see this. By me pushing out that first one, the, the skirt in, it, in here has already gone oval. But watch this. But that was a full spin though. So watch this now. I'm gonna push out this one. And you can see that one's gone a bit oval already as well. Push out that one. That one's gonna be over again as well. It's, it's not too bad, but this one, you can see where it's off. But yeah, that's why I don't like these magazines, man. Look at this one. It's not a perfect circle no more. This one, not a perfect circle no more. This one. So yeah, that's why I hate these Tana mag magazines. I think that's the two reasons. Jim did ask if I wanted another one to test out, but I said, nah, let me show you lot why. I've got a pistol, in a, a PCP pistol in this box, you get me? And it's crazy because it's got a stock on it. You can put silencer on it. Remember, I've got the red dot site and everything. So yeah, you lot are gonna unbox this tomorrow. So you lot are gonna see the, the review of this real soon. You get me? So make sure you look out for this video. I ain't giving you no clues or nothing, but you'll see the unboxing. So boom, gang, I'm going. I wanna say a big thank you again to Jim at Crawley Surplus Store. Big thank you to Daniel at Crawley Surplus Store. I want to wish you lot a Merry Christmas. If I don't see you before then, Happy New Year and everything. 
Thank you for the thank you for the support all year. Things getting fun, but next year we're just gonna go again. You get me, so boom gang. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, Utah underscore beefs. Can we get a thousand next year? I won't I got 529 now or 530. Can we get a thousand next year? Maybe two thousand. I don't know, but we're gonna work. So gang, big up yourself. Merry Christmas. Gang. In every gang, there is a man that'll bring that violence. He don't post, he don't snap. He just moves real quiet. In every gang, there is a man.